Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video, which is about HMIs and more precisely about pop-ups on HMIs. Everyone knows pop-ups from your browser, pop-ups from your phone. Pop-ups are all around us, like there's pop-up advertisements on the streets, like everywhere on television, pop-ups everywhere, right? Um, and of course, we can also put pop-ups on Siemens Simatic HMIs. Not all of them supported. Um, most basic panels do not support it. So if I go to my uh, to my list here, most of these do not support. There's some, but most of them don't. Some mobile do not support it. All comfort panels support it. And also, if you have a Simatic HMI application running on the PC uh, on your PC, that also supports it. So um, if so, I just added a blank HMI here to my project. Um, there's re really nothing in here. And if you don't know if your HMI supports pop-ups, just open up the portal, just put it in your project, go to screen management. And if there is this pop-up screens, your HMI supports pop-up scre uh, screens. If it's not there, your HMI does not support pop-up screens. So the thing that we want to do is the following. Um, I want to have, whoops, I want to have some motor or something on here. So let's search a graphic, uh, equipment, automation, sure, why not? Uh, something. So I have two things. Let's let's put two fans. I've got fans here in my list. Uh, this is fan one. And the red one here is fan two. I don't know. It's just two fans, right? <clears throat> um, each fan has its own, like... Uh, parameters, its own values, its own operation. So basically, if I click on one or if I click on a button that is connected to one of these, I want to display all the information that goes with that one, um, that one turbine, let's call it turbine, uh, fan, fan, that's, that's the name, fan, blower, fan, whatever. <clears throat> and that's what I can do with pop-up windows. So let's open up pop-ups here on the left, and there we have add new pop-up screen. I have two blowers, so I will also use two screens. So I will have pop-up screen one, I'll call this blower one or zero one, I usually do this. Um, and there I could put, you see it here in the list, uh, I could put everything, like I could parameters, I could uh, put different things here like that, and also buttons on here. I could have uh, a clock some for some reason. So I can put things on this pop-up screen, right? And that's, for example, now blower one. And on the screen, on this little pop-up, I can put almost everything as normally on any HMI uh, screen. There's, of course, some limitations, but most of the things you can put there. Um, so that's my blower one. Blower 2 should look similar, so I can just copy the screen, copy and paste, and that will be my Blower 02, oops, 02. And here I will call this Blower 2. Blower 2 does not have a clock, Blower 2 just has this bubble, and ah, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing right now, I'm just like putting things on there, right? This is like similar to creating a faceplate. Different topic, but similar. Um, so I've got blower one and blower two as pop-ups here. If I want pop-up uh, blower two here, for example, what? I renamed the wrong one, <laughs> the wrong way around now. Uh, so this is blower two now, and this is blower, whoops, one, doesn't matter. So um, I can make some small adjustments like blower two, actually the window like does need to be that big so I can push things around and I can go down here in the properties window. And if I do not have anything selected here on top, on the top, uh, it automatically selects the pop-up screen and I can just go to layout and I can change the size of it. So I can make it a little bit smaller here. And I could of course also change the background color and stuff like that. Um, so where do I have it here? Background color. Let's make this a, sh a nice ugh, color. That's what it is. Uh, the other one is still gray. Perfect. So um, if I now run my HMI, of course, those are not embedded yet. They are on the HMI, but I cannot open them. Like this should open um, pop-up one. This should open pop-up two. For this, to open those pop-ups, we of course need an event, right? Something has to happen. We have to tell the HMI, hey, open pop-up. So I'll take my button here. I've got a button there. I'll take that and I'll just put it 
right there right this will be my fan one fan one uh, let's give it pop-up it doesn't matter you can write whatever you want right um, this fan one pop-up will now get an event right in properties events events <laughs> um, and then on the click event that's where I want it you can also take the others but I want it on the click event add new function add new function and we will add a function called show pop-up screen you can find it show pop-up screen you should also I don't even know if you can just use uh, you can't use the drop up here at uh, the drop down there should be screens and in screens you have show pop-up screen there's show pop-up screen and there's show pop-up screen sizable the only difference is if you use the so I'll just quickly show it that's show pop-up screen if I use show pop-up screen sizable you will have two new columns there two new rows which is width and height so we can additionally change how big is the pop-up screen Rather than doing it, what I did here, just changing the size here, we can also change the size using the function here. So I prepare, uh, I prefer the show pop-up screen because I already did the adjustments early on. All I need to do is now select the pop-up screen. I can just go here, um, select from the drop-down. All right, when I click this button, boop, a pop-up will open, and I can just say, "Hey, blow one." Uh, I call the blow. This is fan. Let's let's. Make it a little bit nice, blower one, shift enter is new line, <clears throat> there we go. So let's save, let's test this. This is already everything that you need to do to show a pop-up. Hey, it's already seven minutes, what have I been doing so long? So if I click on the button, you see, the pop-up will open. If I click on the button again, I need to click twice, I'll explain in a second. Um, I click on it, it opens, I click on it again and it closes. You can see it's a little bit on top of my fan here, but that's okay because it's a pop-up. It's supposed to be in front. And so it works for uh, blower one. Let's also do it for blower number two. I'll just copy and paste, control C, control V, uh, and put that below blower two here. I'll go properties on click. Um, I want to, on this button, I want to open a screen with the name blower two of course because that's the one i created for it um blower two done All right pretty much let's save let's open the simulation here so let's see if i can also do it if it works i click on blower one perfect window is open i click on it again closes i click on blower two you see this is the blower two pop-up it looks different it has it could have all the parameters of blower two right you can put whatever you want in there uh, i click on it again it closes so here are some limitations for pop-ups. If you open pop-up number one and you try to open pop-up number two, you will automatically close pop-up one. You can only open one pop-up at a time, right? So only one pop-up at a time. Um, yeah. <clears throat> then the second thing, you can of course have switches and stuff like that. Um, the second thing is, which I find pretty odd which is perfectly fine because usually you have this on a touch panel right you usually have this i don't have one here uh, on a touch panel so it's installed there but if you run it on windows if it is in the simulation that's what i'm doing right now or if it is a wincc runtime if you don't know what that is it doesn't matter um you open a pop-up and the pop-up is actually stuck to the screen itself you see even if i minimize my tier portal here you see the pop-up is still there right so it pops up really on the screen not on the HMI, not on the runtime here, but on the screen. Right? But what we can see, it always pops up. You see it for me exactly at the top left. You see it exactly at the top left pixel zero zero. Um, always. If we want to change this, I can close my runtime here. We go back to our function here. We go on the button, go to properties and events. There we have our event. And there we have X coordinate and Y coordinate. I can change these if I, for example, let's take the second one because we can see it better. 100 and let's say 50. It means X coordinate. We're gonna push it, ooh, 50, not 500. <laughs> My screen isn't that big. Um, 50, uh, so 100 on the X, so to the right and 50 to the um, bottom. Oops, I don't want to download. Why did I click download? Ah, this is gonna take some time now. Not too much because my PC is pretty fast, but still, 
<laughs> I hate to misclick. So opening the simulation here and you see this one is now pushed to the right by 100 pixels and to the bottom by 50 pixels. You of course need to know how big your screen is. Um, a little annoying, that's how it is. The next thing we could do is toggle, right? The mode, the display mode. If um, toggle means you press the button once, it opens, you press the button again, it closes. That's toggle, open and close. You could also have two buttons and then you could have one button open um, pop up, which means mode on and on a second button you could have mode off right so you would need to create two buttons and select one as the on and one as the off of course and the last thing we can adjust here is a so-called animation so i can also add an animation with a drop down here from standard this is off because no one needs those uh let's say i want left you can change the animation speed slow medium fast um i'll keep it to medium so now the pop-up will fly in you see it? It will fly in from the left and it will fly out from the left. Pretty silly if you ask me. No one really needs this, but you can do it if you want. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the last thing on this, if you right, click on this right here on the PC, of course, on the HMI itself, on the physical device, it's different. But if I click on here, the pop-up opens. The pop-up opens and is automatically selected. Those are two different windows now. My semantic um wincc runtime here this one and the pop-up they are two different windows so if i open the pop-up up automatically the wincc runtime in the background so my simulated hmi is deselected so basically it is um jumping between windows so alt tab basically you hit alt tab there so now this window is selected and not the one in the background that's why i need to click three times um one time open the pop-up and now the pop-up is also selected a second time to actually select my runtime again boop, and a third time to close it that's why i need to click three times so basically that's all you need to know about pop-ups they're pretty simple pretty easy to implement uh but i thought hey rarely used for some people some use them a lot um yeah but i th just thought you should know about these as well um yeah as always that's so pretty fast video pretty quick here um as always if this was any helpful leave a like do not forget to subscribe right that is mandatory you have to like you have to subscribe um if you want to help me out I, there's a link in the description below um with a campaign with a gofundme for me <laughs> perfect this is really supporting me you see a lot of people have been doing that lately uh anonymous thanks shorts sema thanks robert thorson Thanks, Piotr Novosad. Thanks. Thanks a lot to those guys. I'll leave a link to this in the description below and also to a forum where you can exchange knowledge with others. I'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah, that's the last thing here. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe, stay healthy and have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>